Okay, hello everybody, my name is Paul Richards, I'm with PTZ Optics, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up X keys buttons so that we can call triggers inside of vMix. You can also call triggers for other things as well. So I'm gonna show you how all this works, and I think it's gonna be a really cool um, little example of how to set up camera control buttons. Um, you can also do this for just doing anything inside vMix. So in our live show coming up, in about a week, I'm not gonna be able to pull it off by tomorrow, is I'm gonna be able to hit one button and the camera's gonna go directly to um, to a place that I choose. And I'm gonna show you how it all works, I'm gonna show you how to set it up in this video, plus I have an unboxing video. Let me just show you what we're working with here. I bought a kit from X Keys. So this is about $150. Um, it's a USB uh, plug with a three port um, analog inputs there. So if you're an integrator or someone who knows how to use that stuff, you can extend the length of these buttons quite easily uh, because it's all analog cabling. And uh, you can see we've got three buttons here, blue, red, and green, just to make things easy. And I'm gonna show you how it all works and how we set all of it up. And uh, I really like it. It's really a cool little, um, little program. And I gotta show you how to map the keys with the software that they provide, which is what I'm gonna show you next. So this is the software that, that you have to download called Ma MacroWorks. So from, from a step-by-step -step process, you need to download this software, plug in your X keys switch, uh, open up this software, and then once you have the software open, then you can go ahead and click. Oop, I already have this set up to, <laughs> I clicked it and I've already got it set up to do some, uh, some funny stuff. Let me go back here. Sorry, I'm not ready to do that yet. I can't click it because if I do click it, I already have it mapped to uh, my recordings here. Sorry, guys. But when you do click these buttons, um, they will um, open up. In fact, I think I can double click it to show you. When you click the button, it'll automatically do this. And then you map you in here. What you would do is you would map what you want the computer to do when you click this button, okay? So I've just selected three random um, keyboard uh, strokes to map the, it to, so hopefully that makes sense. Basically, it's very, it's, it's, it was actually a little complicated, but it, it, it became straightforward to me once I took a look at it. Basically, um, you have to tell the computer what you want to do when you hit one of these buttons. So we did that. Now I will show you, um, really quickly how to set it up inside of vMix, which is our next uh, task here. And um, let me see if I can do this. Um, I'm gonna have to do a desktop capture here and pull it in right there. And you can see that there is a shortcuts section. Uh, so what you do is you go into the shortcuts and you go ahead and add one. I've already added three here for the three buttons, so I'm just gonna double click one. It's, e it's as easy as clicking the find button and then hitting the button. And then vMix automatically finds it. There's even a velocity, uh, but that's not what these are meant for. So you click the button, vMix finds it, and then you tell it what you want it to do. And I'm gonna take you guys a step further here. And instead of just having it do a fade or an overlay, I'm actually gonna have it control the PTZ operations of our camera. So that's gonna be really fun. So I've, I've already got that set up, but let me take it a step further and show you how that works. So here is um, the vMix input. Okay, let me just get this a little smaller so you can see it. And you guys have seen there's, there's a PTZ tab here. Um, let me just zoom out on this just a hair so that you guys can see this better. Position. Just give me a little more space to work with. Okay. So basically, you guys have seen this before, I'm hoping. You do need to have the professional or the 4K version of vMix in order to have PTZ control. But this PTZ control here, Basically, oh, actually, sorry, I have to pull up this one. Uh, you have, you can connect it to our PTZ Optics camera by typing in the IP address. So once you've typed in the IP address of the camera, that input 
now can pan, tilt, and zoom the PTZ of the camera, which is really nice. So once you've got the camera where you want it on your preset, for example, maybe I want this one I actually want to be my full shot. So I'll go ahead and put myself in full view here and I actually want a little bit of the desk there because I'm showing off what I'm using here. And you can go ahead and create an input at this position and it creates an input. So there's that input and basically inside vMix as you go to these inputs it will actually um, it basically creates an input for each one with the pan tilt and zoom preset all together so what does that allow us to do well now we can actually uh, map these to these buttons so if I click a button it basically that preset is basically it fades to that preset so if I hit the blue button it goes to the blue if I hit the green, it goes to the green. So now there's a lot of different ways that we could use this, right? So uh, I think that you guys can probably guess, you know, a couple different ways that you might want to use this. Um, I'm definitely going to have a button that I can just go boom and um, have it go to a specific position that I'm planning on doing or switch cameras or control cameras. There's so many ways to use this. I just showed you guys how to use it. So I can't wait to hear how you guys start using it, but props to vMix for making it so easy. X Keys is gonna be on the live show tomorrow and we're giving away a free joystick on the live show. So don't miss it. I'll put, a, I'll put the giveaway link below and uh, it should be a fun show. See you guys there. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.